Meet Jeff Perryman and his dog Brody. Jeff and Brody are virtually inseparable. They live together, exercise together, eat together, and even work together. But when Jeff goes to work, he doesn't go to your ordinary job. Come on out of there, watch it! Jeff Perryman is really Special Agent Jeff Perryman, one of an elite corps of federal agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. And Brody? is his working partner. The special response teams are made up of approximately 130 ATF agents. These agents are trained at a high level in tactics, in close quarter combat, in firearms proficiency, and they are assigned to assist the divisions in high risk warrant service throughout the country. We are the violent crime police and uh, we're brought in when an individual meets uh, a certain criteria. We may have an individual that has fought the police in the past or done something violent to law enforcement or the public where our job uh, in coming in is, is to lower the risk factors and, and hopefully take uh, these violent people into custody safely. Come. Our training is as realistic for the canine as we can possibly make it because these dogs are so intelligent if we do the same scenario over and over, they will pick it up and they won't get anything out of the training. For example, we may have a situation where a, a violent individual has fled into an abandoned apartment complex. Stairs. Sit. Intelligence says that he's on the second floor. By using Brody to go up the stairs, stop at the top of the stairs, look and smell around, he'll tell us whether somebody's hiding above us, somebody is waiting to ambush us, and we as a team can move up next to Brody. It makes us safer, and in that it makes the public safer. We are more efficient because we have these Tackle Canine partners, these teams uh, that come in and, and, and assist and become part of the SRT team. You're in the building. This is the police canine unit. Make yourself known now and I'll send the dog to find you. We want a safe ending for us and for them. If we still don't get the person to come out, by searching for that subject in and out of rooms, he'll tell us where that person is hiding by barking. Good boy! We as a team will then move up towards Brody. By utilizing a dog, we can locate a person that may be hiding behind a door where no other tool in our box can tell us that person is hiding behind the door. Then we can safely enter the room, call the person out of wherever they're hiding, and take them into custody without anybody getting hurt. You in the bathroom! Open the door, put your hands up, and come out here right now! Dog smell is estimated to be over one million times that of the rest of us. Keep coming. Turn around. What you need to understand about our training is that this is a big game for the dog. It is all fun. What we're, what we're doing with the dog is teaching him to find a person. Once he finds them, it's a big celebration. It is a lot of fun. If we run them and associate training with fun, they're gonna wanna continue to do it day in and day out. The more training they do, the better they get at the job. If he smells human scent underneath a piece of furniture, he'll try and move the piece of furniture out of the way. Show me your hand. Dog is a full member of our team. He has his own badge, his own badge number. Brody's is 48. Brody, as well as our other dogs, are a vital component in everything we do. In order to be a handler, you, you must be uh, dedicated, you must have uh, a passion and a love for dogs. You have to be an SRT operator for a certain number of years, then you can apply to be a canine handler. Then we go through an extensive interview process because this handler has got to make a commitment to us virtually for several years, if not for life, because the way we see our program, our dogs are a member of our family. They are with us 24-7. Most of the agents are married. Uh, with fam, with, with kids, um, and uh, and a lot of them have other pets, and so the you know the dog has to fit in to the family. Turn the switch on, on for work and off, and relax at home, 
and just be a dog. Enjoy your life as a dog, enjoy people, enjoy everything. When it's time to go to work and get serious, I can promise you they will get very serious. Please get on the ground, this is the dog. Get on the ground now, please. Out, go. Oh, oh, oh. Good boy, good boy. Get on the ground, stop moving, stop fighting. Uh, Jeff and Brody are, are role models for the other canine handlers as, as well as the other canines. Uh, but Jeff has also been with the program many years and he's a role model to, to a lot of the, uh, the operators, most of the operators. This program was not developed or made by one person. It was a group of us within ATF. My former supervisor, Roger Guthrie, our current assistant director, Billy Hoover, everybody in the special operations division, my initial instructors, Terry Dine Schoenbach, all of these people worked in conjunction with one another to put this together. Our canine program is, is uh, one, of the, one of the finest in the country. And the beauty of, of our canine program uh, being elite, there's only six dogs or six teams. These canine teams are located in cities like Detroit, Sterling, Virginia, Miami, Dallas, and LA. I think in order to do this job properly, you have to be a pushover for dogs. It's a 24 seven job. If you don't absolutely love that dog, it's not the job for you. And I understand that, it's not the job for everybody, but those of us who love this type of work, there's no other job that we'd rather do.